All right, guys, Papa Pepper here. Um, it's part 10 of my Why We Homestead series, and I think I'm going to wrap it up here. Uh, kind of covered how it's not the destination for us, it's the path, and how we have certain reasons why we believe our family should be together. Went forward from there through a lot of different things, and uh, ultimately, um, as I reflect back on it all, and it's been good. I've, Human Earl had asked me some questions before the series started that got me thinking. And one of my mom's sisters, one of my dad's sisters, had come down for a visit and uh, spent some time talking to them. And they had asked some questions too. So it's good, good to get thinking about these things once again and kind of re, recalling things, bringing them to, to mind again. But ultimately, I think to sum it all up, why we homestead is the experience. Life is a series of events, of experiences here, and uh, kind of what you experience makes you who you are. Um, as you guys know, if I hadn't been through the things I had and exposed to the, the truth I had been, you know, I'd still be probably an alcoholic, drug addict. My, uh, I wouldn't have a marriage now. I wouldn't be such a kind, loving father or, you know, person in general, it just, that would be my life. Not good. But, uh, I don't want the experience of even just being in a concrete jungle, of being in some apartment building, you know, and, and people are free to choose, not always, <laughs> to a degree, but, uh. You know, I'm not I'm not trying to bash anyone's lifestyle. It's just I view, you know, apartments as filing cabinets for people. You know, they don't have a yard. They can't grow anything. The, whatever animals they're allowed to have is usually fish in the fish tanks, birds that, uh, you know, just sit there, cats or dogs. So, you know, nothing wrong with those animals. I, I like them, but it's interesting that in the, in the city often you can't have anything that's going to give you milk, meat, eggs, you know, anything that's going to benefit you in that way. It's more just companionship. And, uh, you know, I love being out in the wild, in the woods, on the ground, in the dirt. I love being around animals. And I mean, if you look back at it, too, I touched on this before, but from a biblical view, as God's recorded it, you know, had it recorded in the Bible, um, man, when this world was perfect, was there with his wife in a garden with some animals. And they were surrounded by plants and animals, a man and his wife, and, and the world was perfect at that time. Maybe that's part of where I'm supposed to be. Um, if you look at it from an evolutionary viewpoint, man still starts out in the wild, but he starts out in the wild as an animal. So, you know, perhaps... From that viewpoint, uh, man left the sea to come on land to go to the woods. Maybe he's supposed to leave the woods to come, uh, you know, evolve and live in the concrete. I don't know. I don't really follow evolutionism like that. Um, so, I'm not sure what they believe. But for me, it, it's the experience. I, I love seeing these baby creatures. There's a little chick running around in the yard over there right now. I love seeing these little creatures be born. I love seeing a, you know, a seed planted. Not necessarily this grass, but you know, a seed planted and all of a sudden it turns to this huge thing. It provides us food. Uh, I don't know how many of you guys have done this, but uh, sometimes I like just walking up to the plant and you know, hands-free just eating the fruit, nibbling off of it, you know, fresh off the vine. Uh, there's something about it, you know. I remember being down in the orchard that my wife's grandpa had planted, you know, and you go down in Texas, pluck a uh, grapefruit, you know, off the tree, and it's still got the stem. There's plenty of people in this world who'll never taste a grapefruit, and there's plenty more who will never see one with a stem on it. Um, it's the experience. I love being able to wake up with my wife, my children, and my family to live this life together, to experience these things. You guys hear the noise? Uh, 
It's mostly chickens and guinea fowl right now making noise, but you know, the Muscovy ducks and rabbits are around. Little pigs still sleeping in the house with my family. You know, it's, you guys all have the freedom to a certain degree to figure out what you want to do with life. I've, uh, I've chose to walk this path, and as I said before, I, I chose it because I believe it's a path of obedience to what God has called me to do. Um, we're going to teach and train our children. We're going to be available to them. We're going to trust Him with how many He gives us. Um, I haven't had a problem with any of them yet. There aren't any we'd send back, you know. And I uh, believe that he did quite a few things in our hearts, in our minds, to prepare us for this. And, uh, you know, we had a choice. We could do what we thought he was leading us to do, or we could not. We chose to follow him. We chose to, though I don't see the things happening you know, I mean, there's not a lot of good examples out there in the world these days. And uh, sometimes, you know, you read certain things, like in Bible, in the Bible, that, you know, God has revealed to mankind, and, and you don't see people living it. You don't see the application of it. You say, well, though I don't see the evidence of it, that's what you say. I'm going to go ahead and do it. And, you know, as I reflect back, even making these posts, I mean, come on. I get this land... Uh, we we have these neighbors also. I've got all, you know available all this heavy equipment to use. Being taught and trained on that, a little more freedom to be at home right now to work on these things, uh, to be building a, a house debt free. I mean, if somebody picks a 30-year mortgage, guess how long they're going to have that mortgage? <laughs> Often 30 years. Sometimes people pay it off quicker. Sometimes people don't finish paying it off, and the bank takes the house back. I mean, if you got a 30-year mortgage and you pay 29 years faithfully, what happens when you stop paying before it's paid off? Don't the bank takes your house. Why? Wasn't your house. They bought it. You said you'd pay them back for it. You know, if we're building debt free here, I don't have to worry about that for the next 15, 20, 30 years. So, you know, this is it's a lot that goes into this lifestyle. And uh, it's very rewarding, though. And uh, ultimately, I love, I love the experience. And, Apparently others like looking into, so I just want to say I appreciate you guys. You know, there was quite a few comments after I think number eight where, uh, you know, people were talking about having a chick on your head. You guys, you watched the video. Thanks for that. I appreciate that. So, all right, pop out. See you on the homestead.